the controller of each individual wind turbine doesn't know it has a neighbor. But if you elevate the control system to a higher level, you get more out of the whole wind farm than just the sum of the individual wind turbines. Offshore wind energy is an essential part of the successful energy transition in the Netherlands and should grow enormously in the coming years. Various projects are taking place within the program of TKE Wind op Zee. This also includes the Sensor Assisted Wind Farm Optimization Project, also called SARWAP. We are studying uh, nacelle lidars and eye spin spinner anemometer systems uh, that measure inside the rotor or in front of the rotor. And with these sensors, we don't have the effect of the turbulence caused by the rotor itself. My name is Koen Hermans. I'm a researcher of offshore wind energy at TNO. Currently, the wind speed and the wind direction is measured on an individual wind turbine level. In the SAVO project, we are developing methods to improve uh, the measurements of the wind flow and use this to monitor the power performance. In the SAVO project, we are performing a large measurement campaign at an onshore wind farm in the north of Denmark. In this campaign, we use two different nacelle lidars and eight ice spin systems to measure the power performance of the Klimfjord, the home wind farm operated by Vattenfall. So with LiDAR technology, we are able to measure at large distances in front of the rotor, being able to map an entire wind field coming into the wind turbine. So some of the LiDARs we use are placed on the ground and they are scanning the entire wind farm, mapping the wake conditions. And the other LiDAR that's on top of the turbine they are measuring the, the wind field that's coming into the turbine itself. Our role is that we, we supply the ice pin sensors and the ice pin measurements, and we assist in how to handle those measurements, how to work with the measurements, how to extract value from those measurements. My name is Nick Janssen, and I'm a team leader for analysis and reporting at Nabla Wind Hub. The difference between uh, the LiDAR and the ice pin is not what they measure, because they both measure wind speed, but it is where they measure it. So if you have a wind turbine right here, then the ice pin sensor measures the wind speed at the spinner, at the nose cone of the turbine, whereas the LiDAR points 200 meters ahead of the turbine and measures the wind before it comes and hits the turbine. So the difference is where it's being measured, not what's being measured or even how good it's being measured. But the aim of the methods is to improve the energy yield of the wind farm using the information measured by these sensors. The wake effect is caused by the rotor of the individual wind turbines. As it's harvesting energy, it leaves behind an increased turbulence, also called the wake, and the turbines next in the row are faced by this increased turbulent wind flow and thereby can generate less energy and experience more turbulent loading. Well, we take part in this project SAWOP because we find it very interesting and worthwhile to uh, learn more about the measurement methods that we are employing and also to see if we can learn more about the operation of our wind farm. My name is Jan Koeling, I'm a lead engineer wind resource at Vattenfall. What we hope to get out of this project is that first we understand better the performance of each single wind turbine. But ultimately we are interested in what these instruments that we use in this project SAWOP to increase the performance of the whole wind farm so that it does more than the sum of each individual wind turbine. And that can you only do if you elevate the control strategy to a higher level than only the single wind turbine. Wind is the energy source that we try to capture within our wind farms. By making use of advanced measurement techniques and real-time modeling, we can further improve our power performance monitoring and wind farm level optimization. My name is Jasper Kreeft, Wind Farm Performance Lead at Shell. This unique dataset can support us in the validation of computational and engineering models that we use for wind resource assessment and wake modeling. We always want to improve the operation of our existing wind farms. There's always more to gain and only half a percent more production can be enormous financial benefit. So we would always 
like to see if we can achieve that. But also we develop new wind farms. So we learn also from our existing wind farms how to optimize in the best way our future wind farms. We are currently testing these techniques on an onshore wind farm. But we are aiming to also demonstrate the methods and the technology on offshore wind farms in the future. Are you also working on an innovation? And would you like to know what Take Our E Windopsey can do for you? Please contact us.